feeding you so much that when you walk out, you're like, I can do it, I can achieve, I can make it happen. And so I don't call myself an artist, I call myself a storyteller. A storyteller. Yeah. Um, like you said, that's where it all started. Yeah, it started from my story. And um, we're on a journey of discovery together. And even if you look at the bottom there, you can see the planets, the way that they, you know, you could most probably see Mars, Jupiter, Venus, Pluto, all just blending and dancing and, and flowing together. And this one was my inspiration when I went to the Turks and Caicos Islands. And when I flew over, I was so amazed how beautiful the turquoise seas were. It's just like, oh my God, if I could have jumped out the plane and gone in, I really, have you been there to the Turks? So you know what I mean, yeah. But uh, all of your artwork is uh, nature and uh, yeah. spiritual. Spir and yeah. So that's why I say I'm not an artist. I'm a storyteller because it is very much. It is very much that. And uh, I don't paint faces, but I do create stories. And uh, when I look around at all these other beautiful, beautiful pieces of art here, I'm in awe of how they have created such amazing art. And when I see this, I feel very blessed. And I, I believe that the journey that we take is not about the end result, it's about getting along the journey and the sights that you see. And if you miss the sights, you're not enjoying your life. And so many people rush into life and they just want to get to the end, they want to get to the end. But it's just being in that peaceful place and just enjoying the, the ride and seeing the sights out of the window. My book, was, my book was about um, a 40-year-old lady who had really never lived life. She was very protected and uh, was in a transition period in her life, very much like Eat, Pray, Love. Yes. It's being published at the moment. And uh, also like Under the Tuscan Sun, okay. going through transitions in her life and really questioning why she was here and who she was. I came home, I finished the book, my editor said to me, you know, we need to start doing some illustrations for your work. And I looked and I couldn't find anything, nothing that represented my spirit, my, my soul. So I remembered that paintbrush and I thought, should I pick that paintbrush up and just see where it takes me? You can, anyone can do it. You just have to be, you've got to believe in who you are, you've got to go inside of yourself and let your creativity fly. And it doesn't matter where you think you're going to make a fool of yourself, because that holds you back. Mm -hmm. When you're able to just expand that energy that's inside of you and put it into canvas, the light comes out, it shines through you, it shines through your work. It's living, and that's what I do. It's like me and my artwork, we're like a team and we go on the road and we, we boogie <laughs> together. And, Real relationship, sort of. It's um, it's a marriage. A marriage. Yeah, it's a marriage of beauty.